So today we're taking a look at Destiny 2 from the perspective of a brand new player, someone like me. I've never played Destiny 2 up until this point and the team over at Bungie have sponsored this video and they've asked me to try out the new expansion which is called Beyond Light and see what it's like diving into the Destiny 2 universe with no previous experience of the game. And of course, as a warning, some of the things that I mentioned in this video are likely to be considered spoilers, so you have been warned. To begin with, let me summarise what Beyond Light actually does for Destiny 2. It's almost a fresh starting point for the game, and that means the Beyond Light update pushes every single player into the new experience together. It doesn't matter if you've been playing Destiny 2 for a really long time, or if you're someone like me, who's coming in brand new, or maybe you used to play Destiny 2, but you haven't played it for six months, it doesn't matter. The Beyond Light update launches every single player into a new experience together, which is not something that happens in games all that often. Usually as a new player into an established game, you've got a lot of catching up to do, a storyline that you've got to follow and perhaps remember the key points of that story in a much shorter time frame than other people who've been playing the game since release. That doesn't happen here. As a brand new player, this means that without having played the last two years of content, you're actually starting on a very even footing as somebody who has been playing Destiny 2 from day one. And that was extremely reassuring to me when I fired up the game for the first time and I started the Cosmodrome tutorial location and everything that comes with that. I assumed that I'd have to play through a lot of the older elements of Destiny 2 to catch up to this point where I feel like I'm ready to play Beyond Light, but Bungie has decided that you don't need to do that and they're bringing everybody back to the start line for another start. It's in the name of starting a new section of the game, moving forward into the future. Beyond Light specifically is a huge turning point for the Destiny 2 story. For a long time, the development team at Bungie, they've been leading players to believe at some point they'd be able to wield the power of darkness. And this is finally happening here on the moon Europa. It's a frozen, icy, I won't say wasteland, even though that's probably how I would normally describe a frozen moon planet, but that would actually be a disservice to the incredibly beautiful world that Bungie has created here. It's full of lost Golden Age technology, open spaces that give way to just incredible views. There's these tight icy caves, underground bunkers, snowstorms that roll in. It's a huge change of location compared to previous places. And it's one that I really, really like. I'm actually a sucker for snow maps in pretty much any game I play. So this is really perfect for me. The main story of Beyond Light focuses on your ability to accept the darkness and use it to your advantage. With the assistance from an old friend, the Exo Stranger, that some of you might remember from the first Destiny campaign, and Varix, the old warden of the Prison of Elders. This darkness is manifested in something called stasis, which is the ability to freeze things. And you're given no choice in the matter. You must accept the darkness and use it to your advantage to further your cause. Now, considering it's been such a long time coming, I'm sure that this is going to excite a lot of current Destiny 2 players and fans finally being able to play around with the darkness. But as a brand new player like me, accepting the darkness and using it against your enemy and then fighting in battles or other battles without the darkness, it gives you two distinct combat types that add a bit more depth to the Destiny 2 gameplay. As a new player, that's a really good combination. I'm not always doing the same thing. There's different abilities that I've got and different chances to use different abilities. Ultimately, the darkness, stasis, it leads on to the creation of new subclasses for the game. You have to go deeper into the story for that, and I'm not going to spoil it for anyone else out there. I won't go any further on that. There are, of course, side missions and quests that you can do that will not only progress through the season pass and unlock more rewards because you're gaining XP, but also leading you to find out more about Europa, more loot around Europa as well, boosting the power level that you have to make battles and fights easier against more powerful enemy types. These non-story missions, they're there to just help you explore the world and become more familiar with your surroundings, I think. And as someone who's never played Destiny 2 before, they did give me some well-needed practice before entering into some of those heavier story missions for more intense battles. As a new player to Destiny 2 with the Beyond Light update, I came in much less intimidated by the game and I have a lot more pull to continue the story, grind for more loot and unlock the mysteries of this brand new Europa planet. 
because I'm at the same point as the existing players of Destiny 2. The tutorial and the story catch up is really nice and concise and you can just launch into all of that new content confident that you're not lagging behind. It's a good feeling. Beyond Light does really feel like Bungie are setting the course for the future. By allowing players to first dabble with darkness, introducing some morality issues into the gameplay with light and dark, Bungie is likely once again about to set imaginations running wild for where the story could go next. And of course, the story will progress. There will be updates, seasonal additions to the game that will come to Beyond Light in the future. And that will not help only bolster the content that you've got, but further the storyline and, of course, get more loot. But there you are. That's my brief overview of Destiny 2 as a brand new player. Let me know what you think in the comments if you're either going to give Destiny 2 a chance or you're looking to get into it, or maybe you're a previous player of Destiny 2 and now you're experiencing this new expansion for the first time and everything that comes with it. Just give me your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. But yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Go beyond the light on Xbox Series X.